the building of an island packet and seaboard yacht. By the Adventure Travelers. Michael and I decided to go see how island packet yachts were made in Largo, Florida. Melissa's bag's almost as big as she is. Sticking to a true adventure traveler, we put everything in one bag. And we're off to the factory. Michael and I sailed our island packet across the Pacific Ocean. We were really curious how it was built. Here's Scuppers. We wasted no time getting to the factory in the morning. This is the home of Island Packet, Seaward, and Blue Jacket Yachts. This is where our Island Packet was built in 1996. First, we learned that plugs make the molds. So, from the engineer's drawings are handmade, life-size plug sculptures for the final molds. Done right, they can last for years. Walking around the factory was really fascinating. Just take for instance this giant plug. It's sitting here all covered and ready to go. By the way, it's a little noisy in the background, so you have to bear with us. So this is an island packet mold right here. It's 15 layers of fiberglass. This is a final mold all prepped and ready for gel coat. The mold is prepped with releasing agent so that when the gel coat is popped off, it comes off very smoothly. This is Joel and Cedric. They've been working together for many years. Joel is applying a low pressure airless assist gel coat. Using this state-of-the-art robotic arm, it helps get a real good even coat. But I think Joel's got some skills. The gel coats are unique formulations that help prevent blistering. Joel's been here for 18 years. I, I love to keep busy and this, this does it every single time for me. Um, Every day is something different, and it's exciting. I, think. I like, really like. I love my job. I haven't missed a day in like. I don't even remember the last time I missed a day actually. Wow. I love coming in. We're like family here. I count on them. You know, I learn from them sometimes. Still, they some even Tung. He's been here for 25 years. He's been here. It feels good. I love seeing the product. Wow, it looks great every single time. I mean, we make a we make a beautiful boat here. There's up to eight options for the gel coat color. The gel coat comes from a large 50 gallon drum or a 5 gallon drum. I think we're the best boat company in the world. So I think we're going to stick to how we're doing it now. The gel coat dries in about an hour. Daryl wanted to show us the next step, which is fiberglass, but he also wanted to show us some updates and improvements around the factory. Daryl is definitely a hands-on owner. He likes to inspect the products as they're manufactured. Here he explains why he likes Kuza board. Now the reason we're using it is not necessarily for the weight savings, but this will never deteriorate. Okay. Never. Okay. So that's something you cannot buy on a used item packet. Right, exactly. Okay. So if you want the latest and greatest, so what we're doing is we're taking what's worked in the past, the design obviously, and we're updating it with more modern build material. Deck for a 26. Uh, as you can see, we put the blue stuff on all the non skid to keep it clean mm -hmm. uh, when we're building the boat. The Seaward 26 was in production during our visit, which was great. Okay, so I've never crawled under the deck of a boat without the hull attached. Right, so the lights and stuff right. like that. So all these wires are ran outside. Here's some of the wires here that they did. The wires for like the lights and the wind. Right. I'm ready to go sailing, honey. <laughs> Thank you.
This mast was just hanging around waiting to be installed. I really had no idea you could customize so many things on these yachts. When we sailed around French Polynesia in our island packet, I never thought about the structural floor. You know, this is not a staged moment. Daryl kept wanting to be pulled a million different directions because you know what? He's accessible to all his employees. This is actually the Seaward 26, which is a retractable keel and rudder sailboat. You can also trailer the sailboat. It's really getting exciting because you can see the progress of this beauty. And Daryl is kind of showing us, you know, the updates that have been made since, well, a couple of days. Look at this cute little cooktop. This is Dana on the left and Andy on the right. You can actually see by looking out the portholes that there's many stages of all these yachts going on. I honestly think Michael liked this because it was sort of like a fort. <laughs> That's Jim over there, also a longtime employee. Look carefully, there goes Jerry, the engineer and in charge of compliance with government regulations. He's worked there for 29 years. Uh, living on a 32-footer for several years, and that what, that's what prompted me to get into the uh, marine engineering. I understand some of the uh, issues that liveaboards run into. And, and it's not just for liveaboards, because not everybody lives aboard, so we have to uh, design with uh, all kinds of different uh, uses of the boat in mind. I think younger people is the key in order to keep sailing growing. Well, I guess we're close to the wood mill, so Daryl's going to take us over there. The craftsmanship in our island packet was honestly like fine furniture. It was remarkable. The specialty computer is actually for designing and cutting. This is Randy, the mill manager. He was explaining to us how the actual computer works. The computer will actually take the design and it will end up as a cut. Randy is working on the redesigned aft seating in the seaward. Look how organized these woodshop router bits are. You never know when you're going to run into the largest island packet made, the 525. This is Sally. She's a longtime IP employee and very patient with a lot of refined skills. I'll bet she crafted our cupboards 20 years ago. This tongue and groove is actually a work of art. Absolutely amazing. If this was Smell-O-Vision, you'd be smelling cedar. The drawing room after the finishes allow a lot of air and space in between each one. Did you know the sole of the boat is actually designed with ridges to catch the dust and particles and dirt so it doesn't scratch the wood? Well, Daryl was summoned to the parts department, so that's where we're going. At one time, there was three generations of my family working for Bob Johnson. And it's amazing because we all became one big family. Oh, what about this boat that we built in 2000 and whatever? I know exactly what the parts are. Remember that far back? I'm like, yeah, I do. And I keep track of all the old boats that we built. So I, ha I can go in the list and say, okay, this is what we used back then. Yeah, I came here in 85. So she built our boat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we had a 96. Some small things are big things when it comes to island packets. This hole is meant for emergency rudder steering. Well, since I brought up safety, the full foil keel is filled with lead and concrete as the ballast. Okay, so the gel coat is dry and we are back around to watch the fiberglass process. The team can laminate each layer in about a day's time. This is Min, he's part of the special team. At this stage, it's very critical to thoroughly saturate the glass layers with the resin and the catalyst mixture. This hand application is very important for quality control. These roll out the smallest of air voids. I get the feeling he's done this a million times before. After 
the lamination is dry, the electrical tankage, chain plates, and other products are installed. Speaking of chain plates, we're headed to metal fabrication. This is Tom. He's in charge of metal fabrication. I asked him what he would change. More room. <laughs> <laughs> more room so we can develop more product, because the more you build in-house, the less you have to sub out. And then you have control over the quality and the quantity of what you build, and you don't have to depend on anybody else. People like, say, for metal fabrication, and welding their schools, tech schools, to teach people how to do that. Well, back in the older days, it was more or less learn as you go. Teaching somebody a trade, the same thing as being an electrician, you teach somebody how to be a bolt manufacturer and production person and carry it on from generation to generation. Tom is definitely in his element. Of course, this chain plate was manufactured in-house. Nice little spring line cleat. That's super cool. And just when we turned the corner, we saw them assembling this wonderful 26. This is probably one of Adam's boat for his customers. Beautiful yachts, of course, so there's a, there's a part for everyone in this. It's great to be around the people that are here that enjoy, that have the passion to build these boats. Um, you know, along with the new owners, it's just great to be involved at this level and know it, the amount of experience that they have for me coming into this with zero experience. And uh, I'm definitely doing more listening and less talking. Research and just all these labor and man hours involved have really come out to produce such a beautiful product. It's very rewarding, yeah. Look at the hand polishing. Now that is love. And perfectly placed stripes. This is Nick, the plant manager. He's constantly with his team evaluating quality. Basically, being trusted to know what they know what they're doing. I mean, I got the right people doing the right thing, so I feel they don't need to be looked over the whole time. Just feel like they actually are part of something and making choices on certain things. The products leaving here is well made as it can possibly be, because at the end of the day, I mean, people's lives do depend on what we do, and I just want to make sure that. You're, you know, people go out there and they sail, they don't need to worry about all those little things. You know, everything's looked at five times over before it leaves here to make sure that there's not issues when it walks out the door. So. I asked Nick if he would put his family in an island packet, and of course he said yes. Unbelievable, the faith they have in you and the faith they have here, and it's really amazing. Yeah, it's a good group. Yeah. Been very, that's why we're here, because we got the right people to build boats. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Melissa. And we've learned really about the people and the process and the product, and we are so impressed. We really have a feeling about how island packets are made and their stability and their safety and all around expertise that over 28 years combined with all the staff here have with island packets. Exactly. So come along and check it out. Packet yachts are pet friendly too. So it's time to go home from beautiful Florida. The music on our video can be found at ccmixter.org. Yachts are built with love and engineered for life. <laughs>